Hello guys, today I will be reading uh, The Racing's Biggest Fans chapter from Meet the Cars book and one of the biggest fans is this little car here and uh, that car's name is Maddie McGear. Uh, Maddie McGear's vehicle type is Axelo Microlux. Maddie McGear has been following Lightning McQueen since his first race. She may be little, but she has a big heart. She cheers on the queen with all her might. That is until she meets Cruz Ramirez. Now Maddie is a fan of both. Anne admits McQueen and Ramirez equally for their courage, heart, and character. So she likes both cars. And this old car, our old time buddy is Fred. His vehicle type Stodgy Swiver LT. Fred truly is racing's number one fan. Some cars have better wax jobs or attached bumpers, but do they have the heart and dedication Fred has? Not a chance. Between Fred's racing blog, podcast, website, and daily call-ins to numerous radio shows, it's amazing he has time to get to any actual races. He is so busy. And these two cars are Mia and Tia. Their vehicle type is 1992 Mazda Miata. Mia and Tia haven't missed a race in over a year, but they'd be the first to tell you that they are not race fans. They're Lightning McQueen's fans. Painted in his signature red and covered in Lightning McQueen stickers, the girls scream like crazy when they're hero racers. The scream like crazy when he poses for photos and they scream like crazy all the way home just thinking about him. So they're crazy about Lightning McQueen. Okay, let's turn to the next page and here we have Timothy Two Stroke. Timothy Stro Two Stroke is McQueen's another fan and his vehicle type is Emery Craft. You will find no bigger Lightning McQueen fan than Timothy Two Stroke. He once drove from New Jersey to California in just four days to see his favorite car race. At the speed he was driving, Timothy shouldn't have been watching the race. He should have been in it. <laughs> and Kit Revster, Kit Revster's vehicle type is Hollis Mobile Driftwood. Sometimes Kit Revster can be found waxing and renting surfboards at the beach. More often, he can be found closing shop early and hitting the waves. But whenever there's a big race at the Los Angeles International Speedway, he forgets the beach and heads straight for the racetrack. And on this beach, we have Kings fans. And one of them is Polly Puddle Jumper, vehicle type Emery Craft. A mild-mannered homemaker by day, Polly Puddle Jumper has rooted for the king ever since he blew past her on her outskirts of Placerville one summer afternoon in 1989. No one knows about her secret crush and she plans to keep it that way. She loves him secretly. And this uh, fan of the king here is Matthew True Blue McCrew. His vehicle type, Brawny Motor Company Leeway GT. Matthew True Blue McCrew has been a fan of the King since he first came off the production line. In first, in fact, everything in Matthew's house is painted King Blue, including the light bulbs, because for Matthew, being a fan of the King isn't just reserved for race day, it's a way of life. Wow, that's serious. Okay. And this RV is Sid Fender Camper, and his vehicle type is 1986 Cloud Chaser RV. Each year, Sid Fender Camper migrates cross-country to see his favorite Piston Cup races. Last year, on his way to the Los Angeles International Speedway, he swung through Kingman, Arizona, when he found plastic flamingos at a local garage sale. Now. The plastic birds are permanent fixtures on Sid's front lawn. Beautiful. <clears throat> and we have another McQueen's fan here is Albert Henke. 
an Albert Hinkey's vehicle type 1985 <clears throat> Boxomatic Travel Bout 4XL. Albert Hinkey is not just Lightning McQueen's biggest fan, known as Buffet Master, Buffet Master among friends. Al can also guzzle two gas stations worth of fuel in one sitting. Al is the biggest and best friend anyone could ever have. All right, this guy right here is RM. Vehicle type 1980 Boxomatic Coach 5.0 liters V8 motor. RM and Larry are the best friends. These two can usually be found making trouble and taking names at the track. But despite their rowdy nature, they are true southern gentle cars and dead serious when it comes to racing. And this is Larry. And his vehicle type is 1980 Silver Liner Coach 5.1 liter V8 motor. Larry and RM know the stats on every team, which is useful since they are always half bet riding on who will be the next Piston Cup champion. Okay. Barry Diesel vehicle type 1975 Silver Liner Coach V8. Barry Diesel loves Dynaco oil. He starts his day off with Dynaco's Extreme Octane to give him that extra kick in the bumper and then it's gallon after gallon of Dynaco regular to keep him running smooth all day. However, his wife thinks it's about time Barry switched to Dynaco Light. These cars right here are Convoy Brothers and their vehicle type is various silver liner makes. The Convoy Brothers have never been apart. They do absolutely everything together. They work together, have lunch together, they even have vacation sites next to each other. To see them you think they were welded at the fenders. But they're not. Not anymore, thanks to the miracle of modern engineering. All right, and on this page right here, we have Clayton Gentle Breeze. And Clayton Gentle Breeze's vehicle type is Silver Liner Drifter. Clayton Gentle Breeze grew up in an RV park on California's Monterey Coast. He's a traveler by nature, so touring with his favorite races fits his lifestyle beautifully. He doesn't see himself ever settling down in one spot not for longer than a weekend anyway. He just can't ignore the call of the open road. Alright, and on this page, one of the fans uh, is Benny Brake Drum, and his vehicle type is Clebert Schooner. Let's read about him. Benny Brake Drum had never been to a race before, that is until he was called number 7 on his favorite radio show, Mornings with Eddie and the Dumb Truck. And just like that, he had two front row tickets to a race. He just had to promise to wear an Eddie and the Dumb Truck bumper sticker. Okay, here we have Marty Brake Burst. And Marty Brake Burst vehicle type. Remy Runabout Neuro. Marty Brake Burst doesn't feel alive unless he's got something to worry about. Whether it's his receding tire treads, politics, the teenagers next door, fossil fuel running out one day, or the general state of the world, Marty is the only truly happy when he is miserable. Uh oh. Here we have uh, Lightning McQueen's another biggest fan is Wilmar Flat. Vehicle type 2000 Clebert Sniffler. Do fans have fans? Well, Lightning McQueen's two super fans, Mia and Tia, do. Wilmar Flats met Mia and Tia at a Lightning McQueen's fan club event last season and he's been smitten ever since. Once, Wilmar actually gathered up the nerve to ask Tia what time it was. Her answer, quarter to three, I think is a sweet treasured memory he plays over and over in his head. So he's actually Mia and Tia's fan. And okay guys, so that was it from Meet the Fans. 
uh, section and in my next video I will be reading the last chapter which is called at the theater and we will be discovering all these cars that are in the theater all right I hope you like the video and I'll see you next time and bye for now